off like that. I'm finishing this week of, uh, or my second week of bourbons, uh, with two uh, old Virginia uh, bourbons. This is a six year old. Uh, so this is uh, Old Virginia Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 40% uh, alcohol. Um, the other one that uh, is going to come up tomorrow will be the 12 year old. Um, bought from Bottle Shop, uh, turned up like this. It's just a screw top which will just break the seal. Um, other than that, uh, Old Virginia is a rare Kentucky bourbon whiskey that has been matured for over six years to ensure a smooth finish. Its careful distillation and lengthy maturation in oak casks is guaranteed by the United States Federal Government. That's rather an interesting uh, statement. I'm not too sure how that occurs, but okay. Um, and we've just got a whole bunch of planes flying over, so excuse the noise. Old Virginia, uh, Kentucky Distilling, try that again, Kentucky Distillation Tradition calls for the best grains to produce sour mash. The secret of the authentic bourbon taste, its lengthy maturation creates an intense aroma of cloves and vanilla laced with hints of wood. Um, six years is actually, uh, I think, quite a lot longer than a lot of bourbons. Um, uh, I think bourbon only has to be matured for three years. A number of the ones I've done have only been like four-year uh, distillation. Uh, I think uh, Jack Daniel's Double Barrel uh, originally came with an age statement of eight years, but they then dropped and made it a no-age statement uh, bourbon. Um, oh, I'm going to need a little bit of extra light here. This Kentucky Mellow Bourbon Whiskey, matured for over six years, reveals tremendous depth of flavour that can be enjoyed straight on the rocks or mixed in cocktails uh, bottled in France from American bourbon distilled and matured in USA. Hmm. That seems a little oh, yeah, okay. It says imported. So uh, that's unusual. Bottled in France. There you go. Alright, well let's break it up. You can hear that uh, seal break there. Not sure what the point of bottling it in France is, but... Uh, very strong... Um, hmm. Quite sweet and strong on the nose there. Um, smells like it's got a bit of complexity to it as well. What did they say again? Hmm. Yeah, cloves and vanilla. I, I think that's. Uh, I think I'd go with that. Mm. That's quite different to the other bourbons. Finish is similar. A little bit of toffee there and then back to the sort of rye oaky finish. But the, um, on the, in the mouth it was quite, uh, quite interesting. Um, so yeah, on the nose there's, you can sort of sense a little bit of complexity of it. And um, but then that finish is just fading to to a fairly standard uh, toffee rye finish. But the nose hints of something more. 
And I think that cloves and vanilla is, is a, probably a good description. A nice little bit of spice in the mouth, raisin sort of flavour. Bit of vanilla kicks in, which then kind of fades. The spice is gone and it's fading away now. And now we're just getting back to that standard sort of rye, woody bourbon flavour. Interesting, I'll be interested to see what the 12 year olds like. Cheers.